We are at the North American Veterinary Conference, just learned about the Partnership for Preventive Pet Health Care. Very good. It's a, thank you, it's a mouthful, <laughs> it but is. it's awfully important. Tell me what this is. Well, the Partnership for Preventive Pet Health Care is a partnership, as the name would suggest, of 20 different uh, key industry leaders, um, including associations such as AAHA and the AVMA, the American Veterinary Medical Association, academia, so colleges, and then also key uh, animal health industry companies. And the idea is we're all pooling our resources, uh, pooling our brain power, pooling our efforts to trying to help uh, our nation's pets receive the preventive care that they deserve. Uh, that's not happening now, you know, and, and my New Year's resolution is, and has been on the radio and also for my newspaper columns, uh -huh. to get pets back to the veterinary clinic and people are saying, what? I don't understand. Yeah. What's going on here? Tell me what is going on. Yeah. Um, at first glance, one might think that due to the challenging economy we've had the last couple of years that that's why people aren't coming in, and I'm sure that that adds to the issue. But if we go back 10 years, um, we can see studies that show the trend in veterinary visits has been on the decline for almost a decade. So there are many reasons that contribute to it. One key one is that we think that, actually we know, a significant number of people are going to the internet rather than going to their veterinarian. And I'm not suggesting that people stop using the internet, but I'd prefer if the veterinary team was the primary source of information and care, and then if someone wanted to go learn more about something, they utilize the internet for that. If they go to an appropriate website to do it, and mm -hmm. that's the thing too, an ed, a .edu website, you're in good shape, sure. you know? Yeah. But some of them may be not so good, but aside from that, even if you're going to the best website available, yeah. How can that website do blood work on your pet or hear your heart's your pet's heartbeat? Yeah, there's no cookie cutter approach to medicine. You know, whether it be human, animals, whomever, there's no cookie cutter. Everything's unique, and if you think about the internet, that's providing some cookie cutter, and you know maybe you're using it on the wrong kind of dose, so it doesn't work anyway, right? Yeah. So what is the goal here? I mean, our pets, first of all, I want to make sure. this clear. We have data now, and you provided some of that, mm -hmm. to indicate that our pets, and this is the most important point in my world, our pets are suffering as a result, and today, they, the ironic part and the sad part, they don't have to be because veterinary medicine can do so much. Right. There are preventable diseases on the rise, and that pains me because be you know if, when we have prevention available that's so you know it's a, it's a godsend you know you don't have to worry about it so how do we get people back to the veterinary offices or sure. in, in my little world they're twice a year because i think that's important yeah. too for the word is preventive right so many things are that can make a difference yes. i mean save your pet's life right potentially so what's the next step yeah um, the partnership is trying to help veterinary practices get a handle on where gaps exist between what they think and what their clients think. G give me an example. An example would be, uh, as a veterinarian, I may think I'm doing a wonderful job of helping you understand what's happening when I examine your pet. So you and I each take a survey and the results tell me, the veterinarian, that I may think I'm doing that, but you as the pet owner have no clue what I'm doing. And if you don't understand what I'm doing, how can you possibly put any value on what I'm doing, right? Mm -hmm. So if we can help identify those opportunities for a practice to be able to do a better job at communicating and, and you know, making sure that the, the uh, pet owner leaves with a full understanding of what's been done, a full understanding of the value of what's been done and the benefit to the pet, um, you know, then that makes people want to want to come back, right? So there is kind of, yes, you are right, and there yeah. is kind of a communication gap. The goal in, is then to close that gap. Dr. Kavanaugh, mm -hmm. thank you so much. Thank you.